Hi, I'm Daniel Lowry, an edutainer with IT Pro TV. And if you've been wondering what a zero day exploit is, well, hopefully you've come to the right place because I'm going to attempt to explain that concept to you in just a moment. But before we get to that, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way, let's get to the topic at hand, which is zero day exploits. What are these magical imps that run around in the world and cause so much havoc? Well, basically when an attacker finds a flaw in a system or application, they exploit it. And they're probably the only one at that point in time that even knows that it exists. And hence the idea that it is a zero day. There are no patches, there are nothing, there is nothing out there that could stop this from happening. And even the developers don't know that it exists. Once the attacker is able to successfully exploit said weakness, they have what they call a zero day exploit. Now this might be in the form of a malware type or a worm, something to that effect, but until the developers know about the exploits and create some sort of patch or mitigation for the exploit, it is still considered to be a zero day. After the fact, once the developers create a patch and the patches are applied, no longer are we in zero day land, it's just normal good old fashioned exploits that are out there that we need to be on the lookout for. Zero days are highly coveted in the community of attackers uh, uh, around the world because of their ability to stealthily uh, gain access into systems. If you think of the things like Stuxnet, which had four zero day exploits built into it so that they could gain access into our Iranian nuclear facilities and destroy centrifuges to put their, um, their put, um, uh, nuclear program back uh, so it wasn't advancing as fast as it could be. That is a, the idea behind it. So you can understand how if state sponsored attackers were using four zero days to gain that level of access, well, then they're extremely valuable to anybody that has them. So you see them being very coveted and prized among the attacking community. So there you go. Hopefully now you understand what a zero day exploit is when it ceases to be a zero day exploit and why they are so prized in the community. Hope this was informative and until next time, have a great day.